Hi friends, I have the honor and pleasure of having with me Dr. Kayur Shah. He has an awesome score and awesome rank in this NEET exam. 851 is his NEET PG score. Yeah. How are you doing? Great actually. How are I you feeling? I'm feeling like at the top of the world and uh, I've gotten good score in my city and uh, I'm looking forward to get a good rank. Might be declared today or tomorrow. So are you now, uh, you know, b feeling satisfied and okay, you know, at least, you know, this part of your journey gets comes to an end? Yeah, definitely. And it, it's been a great experience with DAMS and uh, it has always supported me throughout my entire preparation. And at, I have always dreamt of uh, being here and getting an interview done. So it's been a so you, you dream could, come you, you could actually Im imagine this time yeah. once you know you in your so you uh, when did you join us uh, in your Th uh, third first third first, uh, third first so I joined when you dams. entered that dams classroom in the third first you must have entered with a very raw mind yeah totally so Mala, we were not even knowing how to make notes like just writing what the faculty is saying but then uh, after a while we got the idea what to read i mean going back and reading psm okay this is how you have to read park this is how you have to read uh, ENT and Ofthel and everything. So that it has created a way. Uh, on the one hand, we are preparing notes. On the other hand, we are reading uh, important books, right? standard books, and how to read them. That's a big question because it is difficult to read all the books and uh, from cover to cover. So the advantage you got was that you joined us for a three-year program in your yeah. third minor, and you started early. Yeah. And when you were having that early advantage, so you could utilize the classes more. Mm -hmm. and the notes and you could actually even refer back to the standard yeah, books exactly. in the for the selected topics yeah w otherwise you know if you, somebody has to go cover to cover, cover it was to cover much more tedious difficult yes and what was your experience in the classroom like how did you utilize the classroom any particular teachers that come to your mind today where you, you know you felt uh, you know uh, very inspired good in class yeah, or, or they inspired you in the class of course sir uh, you are the one i have always yes, always so dreamt to be uh, a good radiologist and um, I have been very much uh, inspired by Rohan Khandalwal sir for surgery he's too good and um, that Anil Mirchandani sir he has a uh, great energy yeah. for teaching that OBS gynec and uh, like these teachers have, have been a uh, very uh, what do you say uh, an effect on uh, my preparation and uh, they my mental you to makeup. Maybe, you know, yeah. study more or you know understand Inspired more. Yes. Me. So uh, you know. And uh, sir Rajiv Tiwari sir, yeah. he has tremendous knowledge. Yes. After uh, at this age, he's yes. playing the best. Uh, I, I know, and I am. I want to add here is uh, when I listen to Dr. Rajiv Tiwari even today, and yeah. I, I know that he he will tell any everything from anatomy yeah, to everything, to everything. everything. Like he knows everything. <laughs> so that that advantage you get. And he brings lots of new things. Yes. Every lecture of his is something uh, you don't even know you have to go back and okay this is something that has come new so he works very hard actually yeah actually and he's actually a role model for most of the teachers as yeah. well that you know uh, if he can teach at this energy level and this at this uh, so age so why why shouldn't we put the extra effort yeah. so that that uh, entire thing you know works for us as yeah, well as sure, teachers yeah. so what was your strategy about class tests yeah i i used to go for the regular classes and come back prepare for the for it solve MCQs and then uh, give the class test. Then I'll look back what mistakes I have made and then I'll, I'll add that thing at the end of my notes as you used to say that make a short note of your uh, mistakes which you made in class test. It becomes, it becomes easier for you to revise it before the exam because the thing is you cannot uh, go through all the class tests but if you have one or two pages for those mistakes you have done it's quite easy and it's like it's be it becomes a part of your notes so forget about the mistake you are going to make. So, uh, if I summarize your strategy was that you used to give tests on their correct time yeah. and then you used to uh, look at after the test what you have done wrong. Exactly. And you kept those things for later on revision as well. Yeah. So e that every revision you should include those mistakes again. Yes. So, if so I am revising notes for three times, I will revise class test for three times again. So, that was your strategy that that this is what I will not do again. Do again. This mistake yeah, I will not exactly. do again. This was your strategy. Very good actually. It is a very good strategy. And I also want to know about like for the MCQ practice, 
लास्ट ईयर वी कंडक्टेड सी आर एस डिस्कशन वेयर वी डिस्कस दी एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन बैंक दैट वी गिव यू इन डैम्स वट वॉज यर एक्सपीरियंस विद इट वॉज ग्रेट एक्चुअली मतलब आई यूज टू सॉल्व दोज पी एस एम एम सी क्यूज एंड ऑब्सगैनिक एम सी क्यूज साइकेट्री स्पेसिफिकली सो वेन द टीचर्स यूज टू कम एंड सॉल्व अवर डाउट्स एंड इट वॉज री अश्योर दैट समन इज हेल्पिंग अर्स एंड समन इज गेटिंग द एरर्स आउट ऑफ दोज एम सी क्यूज सो इट बिकम मोर रिलायबल एज कम्पेयर टू द अदर बुक्स वेयर it is quite difficult to find out the error so it might be right it might be wrong and there is always a doubt in uh, your mind going on because if that a uh, question comes again and if you commit the same mistake then it's quite uh, loss for us so no, i i believe that today the world of education has uh, changed uh, quite a bit like now what we do at dams is like what i term this as a blended learning that yeah. th- there is a classroom but it is blended by a you know a facebook group solving doubts and video lectures adding uh-huh. substance to it and for every mcq there are discussions happening so that you know we kind of blend it yeah exactly and that, that and i feel that anybody who is preparing for a competitive exam should look at a blend if you do only mcq practice you will miss out on concepts yeah. if you ke- only keep reading theory books you, you will miss out on mcqs so there has to be a blend and that blend is the magic word for a competitive exam yeah, uh, that exactly. is what you know he is kind of applied uh, again and again in the entire 3 years did you give grant test in the internship yeah i gave all the grant test and specifically uh, towards the end i used to time it in a short period of time so after every 10 days i used to go give a grant test initially i gave i gave a one or one or two months but then in the end i used to give it every 10 days so that that was a boost for me so every time every 10 days you are preparing okay i have uh, got a one rank above one rank above and that's how yes, yes. you step up so did you enjoy the, the even after grand test there were video discussions happening yeah exactly they are very very useful even if at the end i i, uh, I did not get time to uh, go through all the videos so i used to go for okay i have done this mistake i'll go to that part of video and uh, listen to that particular thing so no, i i believe that if you start grand test a little earlier you will have much more time to consolidate yeah, all the videos I, but so <laughs> <laughs> the uh, intensive uh, goes on and I, I everything understand, i understand but i i keep advising this if you recall i keep telling people that you yeah. know grand test is the main thing because in the end you have to give a full course paper in the yeah. real exam so you have to that get used to that you have to become that razor sharp you know that you have to do uh, you know, like like a uh, you know artist has to do mm. riyaz again and again again and again yeah. till the time you become perfect perfect yes So, did you utilize the CBT test that we conducted in the exam pa- uh, pattern with the computers in the computer centers? Yeah, CBT was an, a real eye opener, and it was uh, very important because in the CBT one, I scored uh, a little back, my around five seventy rank was there. So, I improved from there. I started preparing again, and I uh, understood my mistakes. So, leaving out more MCQs was not, was not at all helpful. So, in next CBT two, I I attempted almost two ninety nine questions. and i got a rank 7 so it was a good confidence boost that yes i can do i have to just uh, uh, attempt more questions and uh, it's like just apply what you have read and i would like to add here is that your first exam that you give with your internship should not be the real need yeah, exam it should exactly. be a simulated exam yeah. don't do this mistake do don't do this injustice to yourself that you straight away go and give the need exam because yeah. what happens in first exam you might make a strategical mistake like he gave the first cbt that was a simulated test but this was not going to give him pg so he did a error but he could come back yeah, and learn learning from, from mistakes is yes. most important and, thing and he and that his mistake in the first cbt was that he became over defensive yeah exactly but if he had given the need directly he would have become over defensive in the need exam so don't yeah. do this injustice to yourself that even good students sometimes they err on the strategy when they first time see a negative marking computer based test exam yeah. environment exactly So and uh, did you utilize the dvd session that we conducted and the you yeah. know visuals that we discussed and the revision that we did in last in those september month yeah so dvd what i did was i prepared notes and i had those uh, images with me and i used to revise every time i used to read those class notes again so every revision i did uh, a revision of dvd itself two to three times so it is it it, it has become a part of class uh, notes only so it it has been very important and if you don't have time okay tomorrow is the cbt2 and we have uh, four five subjects left the only thing i can do right now is dvt so even if there is uh, less time if you go through the dvt it covers a uh, lot of important concepts and most of the questions 
are uh, coming it uh, coming from those dvt sessions actually in dvt i put a challenge to the teachers also that like you know suppose you had to revise your entire subject in 3 hours yeah, how would you do it yeah. and that is where you know teachers also try their best to put everything in 3 hours with some creativity here and there yeah. like in my case i, I put an a to z a to thing then. and i saw a beautiful uh, thing that the pharma teacher had created yeah, for created those 2 hours and great. touching everything and it 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 was a uh, to matlab too updated it had included all the new drugs and it was very helpful every exam we had two to three mcqs coming from that uh, pharma dvt which was very important and skin and uh, of their dvt they were made in a way we didn't even need to revise the notes itself they were designed so well so m- almost all the mcqs were from the those dvts even gaini ma'am did a great job while concising the entire obs gaini thing in a small content and uh, it was easier because the notes are too tiring uh, in one or two day you can't give uh, time to that entire obs gaini so in major subjects you need something like dvt or some class test to revise because in last 20 days you should have the entire revision done before the exam if you are missing one or two subjects it is going to cost you one or two marks here and there so it's very important to revise those subjects maybe dvt maybe class notes anything but entire thing should be done in at, at least 20 days recently we launched an app called as e-medicos uh, where we begin by adding some uh, educative video yeah. for our students and now we it is a full fledged actually a social media platform exactly. where you can interact with teachers how was your experience with e-medicos and the mop up videos that we conducted on uh, them i used to week? watch all the mop up videos and i used to actually pause and write those notes down and it has become uh, i used to revise that thing again and again and um, there were uh, discussions of uh, aims paper on this mo- uh, uh, e-medicos app put up and uh, even the faculties are posting good quizzes and uh, questions every uh, week and they are giving videos so it's quite a uh, good thing because 5 uh, 10 minutes everyone can get from a- anywhere so whenever you get bored you go to that e-medicos app uh, watch the expert feeds then uh, even your integrated videos coming on youtube that like uh, it is a kind of uh, leisure time utilization of yeah. uh, uh, time. i i believe that you know uh, my intention behind all this is repeated hammering but yeah. you know i i have taught you something in the class but i want to hammer it to you in a another manner uh, with a integrated fashion in the youtube i'll put it yeah. or in a eq session on the app or something so we try to repeatedly hammer uh, concepts hammer to students so that sometimes you may miss it in the first go hmm. but you, you know with dams will not let you you know uh, go without it in the exam <laughs> so we try to put it now i also want to now you uh, utilize this opportunity that you have a such a great score in this neat exam what was this exam all about like uh, w- pe- what would you like to tell the future aspirants about the neat pg 2018 what was the paper like paper this this uh, this year the paper was quite uh, like not so usual uh, which you expect from a neat thing but it was the uh, uh, consisting of questions which was of which was of mixed bag matlab there were questions difficult uh, to the level of aims and chipmer and there were questions too easy matlab which you can give the answer within a second but the important thing uh, you should understand is just by reading the question and just going about it and in within 3 seconds uh, there are there is very high rate of error because uh, if you don't read the question well you are going to make errors even i have made a lot of errors which i regret but then reading the question well reading the entire thing and practicing uh, the grand test and cbts in time in 3 hours will give you a very good uh, preparation in neat and uh, the class notes have formed the base entire matlab everything was uh, based on class notes i used to add things in my class notes but every time used to revise the class notes only because it is easier for you to revise the entire subject in a day if you read the notes because if you read anything else it is going to take you at least 2 to 3 days to read the entire content which class notes uh, form the base and uh, one more important thing is okay whenever you read these things while you have joined the foundation course or a final year course try to read the standard books because in need they have started asking questions which are one liners directly from the textbooks like the bailey they are using uh, like sentences from the uh, uh, textbooks have been asked in this need so it is very important to go through those uh, uh, standard books while you are preparing in final year and pre foundation yes uh, i would like to add here is that because he ha- he started early so he had that leisurely time to do all yeah. this and that's very important to realize so the moral is to start early if possible 
but i would like to add and uh, differ a little bit here that suppose you are dropping a year this year and you have not so then at this time if you go towards sex book they will take a lot of no, time no, so you know that strategy has to be correct that if you start early if you are a second year third year along with dams instead of touching those guide books you touch standard text books they will help you a lot in predicting new questions yeah exactly and in the in the new pattern neat exam the new questions are more new than repeat are. so that strategy works and that is i feel that is what has been his forte yeah starting and early using good quality good quality books, books. Yeah. and practicing mcqs in both modes yeah. like whenever you do mcq practice one mode is the question mode yeah. other is a test, test mode. mode so many people ignore the test mode he did not yeah. and that is what has you know made all the difference and he's sitting and giving an interview here in dams and if you utilize similar strategy you would be giving an interview in future as well yeah. would you you know recommend dams to your juniors of course i have actually recommended to lot of people they yeah, just join dams and uh, try to follow them actually the best part of dams is their motivation their content and the tests the test they are forming a great gra uh, ground over class notes because that is something that gives you extra everybody will be reading class notes every every student of dams is like dams is covering a uh, ma majority of the pg students right now in the country and everyone is uh, reading class notes but if you give test if you are uh, watching sincere, more videos sincere in giving test and yeah. that that so makes a that, that makes the entire difference and that takes you some to some higher level so try to be more uh, interactive and try to be more in touch with them so it will take you through final motivation line by you just dream big and follow your dream whatever they will, they uh, will come true yeah they will they will definitely come true if you are sincere about it and uh, it it does not let you sleep in the night then definitely you are going to see it come true so if your dream does not let you sleep and you are able and you are yeah. able to put that extra effort you it comes true he dreamt yeah. about this interview th in 3 years back when he was in third year he started thinking that one day i will go to dams and give a interview after scoring a good rank and today he is here in front of you so dreams come true with this note i end this interview and i wish you all the best may i ask you which branch you want to take i think you mentioned uh, it. yeah i uh, i want to take radiology and uh, i especially sir i want to thank my colleagues and my friends uh, my parents uh, who have constantly supported me my girlfriend uh, who has don't constantly been <laughs> never miss out on her <laughs> yeah uh, specifically <laughs> not yes. because she has been a great uh, mental support to me throughout yeah keep believing in uh, you need someone who keeps telling you okay, yes you can do it even if you have, you have performed bad today but yeah you are going to come back tomorrow we wish you all the best i am sure you'll do well in life congratulations yeah. and god thank bless you thank you sir